It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne, guiding you on how to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. So get ready. We're about to pump you up live from the greatest city in the world and the city of brotherly love. This is No Pain, No Gain. Good morning. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with chief investment officer, the man with the plan, my father, Big Bob Payne. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Dad. How you doing on this glorious uh, first weekend of March? Right, I got a big smile on my face. Good morning to you. It's time for March Madness, my favorite time of the year. Big East this weekend, and then the big dance. Got great hopes for your alma mater, the Wildcats of Villanova. Oh, yeah. It's going to get crazy, uh, just like the weather. And actually, I made a mistake there. It's the second weekend in March, so uh, <laughs> I'm a little behind on the times there. So, Bob, I have a little little trivia, real estate trivia for this morning. Are you hmm. ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. So what U.S. city is expected to see the largest home price gain this year? Well, you know, that uh, editor up in New York about 200 years ago said, go west, young man. So I'm going to assume somewhere in California or maybe Seattle, Washington with Amazon taking over the world. Is Seattle your final answer, Bob? Seattle's my final answer. (laughs) Well, you're wrong. Oh, come on. You got to go south, my friend. Uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Home prices are supposed to grow at 8% this year, followed by Orlando, Florida at 7%, which in comparison, the New York area is only supposed to grow at about 4.2%. So the South is hot. Mickey Mouse is beating out Bezos, huh? Mickey Mouse is beating out Jeff Bezos. Yeah, exactly right. right. Another interesting statistic too is, where do you think, if you had a guess right now, the 30-year mortgage rate is? It's about four and a quarter percent. Almost right on, 4.3%. Now, if you look at the last 20 years, what is the average 30-year mortgage rate been? Over the last 20 years, I'm going to say 5%. A little light. It was actually 6%. Whoa, that's high. Yeah. So, you know, everyone's talking about interest rates going up and, you know, everyone's worried about mortgage rates. We're not even close to what the 20 year average was right now. So, some, some interesting real estate facts for you. Well, well Mr. We have Trivia, a great- since you're asking questions, do you remember what rate they wanted to charge me when I bought our first home? Well, it was going to be probably the late 70s. I'm going to guess 10%. 22%. Ouch. And I was able, I was able to get a fantastic deal. I got an 11% adjustable rate mortgage for my first mortgage back in 1978. Well played, Bob. Well played. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have a great show for you this morning to help you on your path to financial freedom. We're going to talk about listening to your financial trainer. There are many decisions that you want to make with regards to your finances that are flat out wrong. Bob and I are going to tell you when not to touch the electric fence and listen to your advisor. We're going to discuss how financial savvy are you. Bob and I are going to take you back to school and grade you on just how financial competent you really are, along with this week's financial pornography, a lot of stuff out there in the, in the financial media you need to avoid at all costs. And we have our spotlight segment today. We have my brother, Bob's son, Chris Payne on the show. He's going to talk about a real retirement case he worked on and some of the issues this couple had to get retirement ready. So good stuff. Since the show is called No Pain, No Gain, let's talk about No Pain, No Gain. When you're on a diet and you just can't take it anymore, so you cave and you finally reach out for that big, delicious piece of chocolate cake, would it be great if you had someone to slap your hand down and keep you on track to hit all of your health goals? Well, like oh, your financial right. health- All you have to do is move back home. Mom will keep you away from that chocolate cake. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Mom is a health nut. She definitely likes to slap the hand when you're going for the cookies or the cake. <laughs> so- that's why, that's why you stay so fit, Bob, and you look so that's good these it. days. <laughs> <laughs> well, like your physical health, a good financial trainer should know when to tell you no. Bob, let's talk about some common statements our clients make where we just have to play bad cop. And the one that I hear very often is, now is it time to get out of the market? Why is that just ridiculous? Well, you know why it's ridiculous, Rice? Because we've been in a big, booming bull market since forever, right? The markets have gone up your entire life. So there's never a time for you to go to cash because every dip in history has been temporary. 
and the ups have been inevitable. Of course, there's short-term corrections. We just had a 10% correction, and there are corrections over every decade, every year. But to time those, impossible. Well, yeah. I mean, I think the problem is it's not only being right once. You have to be right twice, right? Because it's not only, hey, let's get out of the market. But the bigger question is, when do you get back in the market? And I just had a client back when the market sold off at the end of January, said, just get me out. I want to sell. We can get back in later. And I said, well, the problem is this could be the bottom of the market. And it happened to be the bottom of the market. We didn't know it at that time. And again, it was like, well, when are we going to get back in? You know, If you get back in 500 points higher, 1,000 points higher, you miss all that opportunity. And that could take away from your return long term. Well, you know, I can give you a guarantee on short-term trading, right? I guarantee you'll make a lot less money. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty good guarantee. Not many guarantees uh, in this life either, Bob, so I'll take that. Well, what people don't realize is that, number one, half the return comes from dividends and interest. So when you're out of the market, you're not making any return in terms of yield. Secondly, when you feel that you can't take it anymore, usually there's a lot of bad news around so that you're selling into a fear that everybody else has because there is conventional wisdom. We all think the same things at the same times, no matter how unique we think our thinking happens to be. But you know what, Rye? The stock market in particular is just like a huge high-rise building in New York City. Okay, and, elaborate. You know, no, well, you know, your goal in investing is to get to your goal, right? So in the high-rise, you eventually want to live in a penthouse. So you to get to the penthouse, you got to get on the elevator. But what happens, you get on the elevator and you decide, oh, well, you know, the, the tax law is not going to go through. The new president is going to mess things up. North Korea is going to blow up Hawaii. I better get off the <laughs> elevator. You get off the third floor and say, I'll just get back in the elevator when it comes back down to my floor. But the problem is it goes up to the eighth floor, corrects down to the fifth floor, and then it goes all the way up to the penthouse and leaves you in the basement and you never achieve your goals. Yeah, that's right. And I think that's where this whole all or none solution makes no sense. You know, I think what you have to think about is yes, it makes sense to take profits over time. That doesn't mean selling your entire position out of the market because you do want to manage risk, but all that should be predicated on your goals, not some forecast of the future of what you think may or may not happen. To your point, Bob, it's just too dangerous to do that because it's impossible to figure out the right time to get back in. And if the elevator now is at the eighth floor and you're still on the third, you've missed all that return. You never make that up. You never get to the penthouse. So if you're thinking to yourself, I want to get to the penthouse, here's your shot to do it. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will put together for you our famous total financial master plan. It's a holistic review based on your goals, not based on market predictions, where we look at everything. All you need to do is bring in all your statements. We're going to go through every single investment you own. We're going to build you a personalized portal where we can take a bird's eye view and do a full portfolio x-ray. We're going to look at fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? What high cost mutual funds, insurance products, annuities do you have in your portfolio? We're going to show you how to reduce cost on your portfolio. We're going to look at diversification. What pitfalls do you have in your portfolio? Are you prepared for the next market correction? Bob and I are going to show you how to make your portfolio bulletproof against the next market correction. And we're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement and much more reliable than market fluctuations. Bob and I are going to show you how to increase or optimize the income on your portfolio. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan and answer that age-old question, are you going to outlive your money or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you utilizing strategies our family has literally worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Running out of money is the biggest fear you have, so why wonder when you can know? So call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next 10 callers, you've saved over 200000 for retirement. Our team will run for you your own personal total financial master plan. No obligation, no cost, but you got to text or call 844-752-6692. This is Bob Payne. I'm with my son, Ryan Payne. We are the pains of no pain. No Gain Financial Radio. Hi, I'm a cleverly devised personification of Wall Street. I'm one wild roller coaster ride away from wreaking havoc on your investments, and I love to mess with your emotions. 
If you're not properly diversified, you can bet I'll keep you up all night thinking about me. There's really only one way to keep me off your mind, and that's by coming in for a visit with the team at Payne Capital Management. They'll ease your fears about market volatility with their signature Total Financial Master Plan. They'll even help you get financially organized with their 360 financial portal. It's a great way to get all your statements in one place. Otherwise, when I take a plunge, I'll send you scrambling through your file cabinet hoping you're well prepared. Don't wait for turmoil to hit. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Schedule your visit with Payne Capital Management. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Officer here at Payne Capital Management. And the stock market turned nine years old this week, becoming the second longest bull run in history, with the Dow up 280%, dwarfed by the NASDAQ up 486% since the bottom in March of 2009. Now, it's hard to fathom that in the face of this gigantic rally, a rally I believe will be the biggest booming bull market in history, it is still defined as the most unloved, even the most hated bull market in our lifetime. In spite of record corporate earnings, low inflation, low interest rates, investors continue to ignore the reality and focus on what can go wrong instead of what's going so right. Evidenced by the trillions of dollars wasting away on the sidelines since the S&P bottomed, at a low of 666 way back in March, nine years ago. Aging bull markets are akin to bull riding in the rodeo. As investors, our goal is to stay invested as the bull becomes more volatile and attempts to throw us off. Remember, the markets are much higher in price than they were nine years ago, so don't be fooled by 100-point swings. You should be looking at moves in percentage terms. 2017 was the anomaly with so little volatility. What we've experienced so far this year is historically normal. So be prepared for some more bumpy months until the correction bottoms out and don't allow this aging volatile bull to throw you off your path to financial freedom. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio to win in this big booming bull market? Why well, sit there and wonder when you could know? Give us a call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Planning for retirement shouldn't feel like rocket science, but it's easy to get lost in the financial jargon. Every seventh conductor being connected by a non-reversible tremie pipe to the differential girdle spring on the up end of the gram meters. Let's clear up the confusion. Back to Ryan and Bob. It's Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, no pain, no gain financial radio. And Bob and I are simple men, and we like to keep it simple for you. That's why we always want to give you very common sense, practical advice that you can apply to your planning and investing. And that's why we have our latest guide available for you, all the highlights of the new tax reform, which you can download for free. You simply need to text the word BULLISH to 555-888. That's the word BULLISH to 555-888 and get all the highlights of the new tax reform. Make sure you're tax ready in 2018. Simply text the word BULLISH to 555-888. 888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And in this segment, we want to talk about your financial blind spots. You know, Bob and I are going to test your financial proficiency to see what you really do know and maybe where you might not be as financially proficient as you should be. So, Bob, let's talk about some of the important financial blind spots that you might have and you don't know you have them. So you're addressing, you know, your entire financial picture and you're not missing anything. And you know, one of the first ones, I think, where we start is, do you know how much you actually even have? Well, it's actually the wrong question, Rye. Okay. Tell me, Bob. Well, it's not, do you know how much you have? It's more important is, does your spouse, the non-involved financial spouse, know how much you have? And I guarantee it, they don't. Ah, good point. Well, I mean, it can be compounded by the fact that you may have some accounts out there you forgot about, so maybe you don't even have 100% a clear picture, and that's compounded by the fact that your spouse 
is completely in the dark, which we know from experience, that's a real problem, especially if, God forbid, something happens to you and your spouse now has to take care of the finances. And you know what happens, right? As you get older, you become more involved in what you're interested in, and you don't feel like taking the time to show somebody else what you already know. I can tell you all the time, we sit down with you and we find out that you have, uh, oh, you're, all your investments are in this drawer, but then you keep your bond investments back in the closet. And then the um, retirement analysis is you keep that in your bedroom dresser. Unfortunately, your spouse doesn't know where any of this is, and they're, they're just left with a mess. And they're, they're scared to death. They don't know where anything is. I even had someone call me the other day, Rye. Their, their spouse passed away, 93 years old, one of my favorite people on, on this planet, and his wife was in tears and said, Bob, I don't know where the checkbook is to pay the funeral parlor. That's how bad it could be. Yeah. And that's why you know I, I love our... I talk about our financial 360 portal a lot, but it's such a great way to get everything in one place and just do a tally up of all your assets. I mean, it's you know think about all the passwords we have nowadays. I mean, I can't remember... I have literally a sheet <laughs> of, of about 15 different passwords, but this is like we can create one login, you log in, you can see all the updated balances of everything. The other thing is, you know, just that vault feature too, which I love where it's like, okay, where are the estate docs? You can put mm-hmm. them in there, but to have one centralized location, and there's no excuse now with technology not to put that together so that God forbid, if again, something happens to you, your spouse can go to one place, she can see where everything is, and it's not this big uh, puzzle that has to be put together You know, once you're not on God's green earth. Yeah, it's no fun for somebody to find out that their spouse was a financial onion and to get to peel back the layers when you're not around to explain why you own what you own and how long you've owned it. It's just, we see it every single day. It's time to sit down, not for you to know how much you have, but for your family to know how much you have. Yeah, and once you know that, Bob, I think that the second financial blind spot that you might have is, do you know how much you spend? Because it's like, okay, we know what we have now. What does that balance sheet look like? Or what does your spending look like on an annual basis? How much do you really need? And you have to include all those other ancillary things in there, like what a trip's going to cost. What about prolonged medical expenses that I made in retirement? And our estimation is you may need another quarter million dollars in retirement just on medical above and beyond your normal expenses. You're on both sides of the spectrum with this issue because you're someone who's either really good at budgeting and they've got every penny accounted for, or you're horrible at budgeting. We just had an executive retired that has no idea where the money goes every month. And at the same time, her administrative assistant retired, knew where every penny was, had a budget, had everything planned out for the next 10 years. When you have it done for you your whole career, it's pretty tough for you to have to start picking up the pieces. So do you know how much you spend? Maybe you do. But maybe your financial blind spot is you don't like the budget. Yeah, and that's that can be a very fun therapeutic exercise, if I may go on a limb and say fun, to actually go through that. And that's one of the things we do for all our clients is when they come in the office is we just update spending every year, see where it's at. And then from there, the next financial blind spot for you could just be, okay, I know what I spend now. I know how many assets I have. Where the heck is the income going to come from? Yeah, um, that's, so a, running that's those- a good question. <laughs> I like to ask good questions, Bob. And that's where, you know, hey, like first off, Social Security, right? Are you taking it now or what's the optimal way to take it? Which there's hundreds of ways to take it. And we can get very creative on that front, you know, with some of the calculators that we run to find out what's optimal for you and your spouse. So you can figure that out. If you have a pension, you know, what's the optimal way to take that? And then the big thing, Bob, we always talk about is what about your portfolio? You know, what kind of income can we generate that's consistent? Because hoping that the market goes up every year is a very bad strategy when you're looking at income for retirement. Well, you know, Ry, you're not consistent. The market is inconsistent, but you are consistent in that we become much more brave when the market goes up and we become much more fearful when the market goes down. And it's so much easier to have a strategy that's a process driven strategy based on achieving your income goals, as opposed to trying to react to every event that occurs. I mean, you're almost afraid to open up the newspaper every day because there's some type of bad news that's gonna drive the market one way or the other. So it's so important to have a dependable income stream based on a process-driven strategy. Yeah, which kind of ties into another blind spot that we see a lot is, okay, not only can we create more reliable income on your portfolio, 
but what real market risks do you have? And I think right now, when you're in the ninth year, excuse me, almost the 10th year of a bull market, you kind of forget that the market does go down once in a while. And when it does, it really hurts. <laughs> and you know how well protected are you for when those market corrections happen? And from a lot of the portfolios that we see, there's a good chance you have a lot of pitfalls in your portfolio that you just don't see right now. That's that's a real blind spot. It's so evident. Every week we look at at least 20 different portfolios where people have the same risk tolerance that they had 10 years ago. However, because we've been in a big booming bull market, their asset allocation is way overweighted and they're taking enormous risk and they're taking more risk than they realize. Almost 90% of every portfolio we've ever looked at, Rye, people were taking more risk than necessary to achieve their goals. And you know what? When the market's going up every month, it feels great. But when that inevitable 30 or 40% correction happens, it doesn't feel so good. Yeah. And the best time to make a change is when the wind is at your back. Because when the market pulls back, it's too late. So you know, in a time like right now where things are doing well is the best time to assess your risk, see where you are with regards to retirement, see what you can spend, see what your income streams are and all those things. But evaluate when things are doing well, not when uh, things are catastrophic. When you ask someone on a scale of one to 10, how financially organized are they? What do they tell you? Let's be real, Bob. Aren't we really like a three? We don't really know where everything is. We haven't really done a full assessment if we're honest with ourselves. And where would they like to be? Don't we all want to be a 10, Bob? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I mean, why wouldn't you want to be a 10? And if you would like to be a 10, if you'd like to have all of your financial documents and data organized, simplified, all you need to do is be one of our next few callers. See, if you've saved over 200000 for retirement, Ryan and I will create for you your own customized 360 financial portal where we'll look at all your goals. We'll see how you're tracking towards those goals. You'll know if you're on path or if you're off the path. You know, this means that you don't have to remember all those passwords and security questions for every bank account, every brokerage account, every insurance policy, even your credit card and banking information can be downloaded into the system where at a push of a button, you have your budget, right? You know exactly what you're spending. You don't have to sit there and wonder any longer. See, virtually everything with a statement and online access can be simplified and organized into your own personal financial portal. Can it be that easy? Sure can. Wouldn't it be amazing to be financially organized? Think if something happened to you, how easy it will be for your children or your spouse keep your life working or transition your financial affairs in a worst case scenario. See, if you are one of the next few callers, what we're going to do is we're going to tie it all together into your own personal total financial master plan. We're going to answer that age old question. Are you going to outlive your money or is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies that my family and I have been perfecting now for over 40 years. Hard to believe we've been doing this for 43 years We want to help take your family from your point A to your point B, your goals, your dreams, with your values, with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as a fiduciary like Payne Capital Management can provide. So don't waste time. Call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Here's your shot. We have 10 slots. Give us a call at 844 752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. It's a whole holistic review. Take advantage of the offer now at 844-752-6692. That's call or text 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain. Financial Radio. Time for Financial Pornography of the Week. This is where Bob and I scour the daily financial news and call out the biggest offenders of offering obscene and profane financial guidance to help you protect yourself from making any ill-advised financial decisions. Bob, what'd you find out there this week in the egregious, horrific world of financial pornography. Well, I was really surprised this week, Rye. Oh, no, I wasn't. It's a, I saw exactly <laughs> what I typically see. You know, we just made an all-time record high 
in everybody's lifetime at the end of January. And the headlines that I saw page after page, site after site, was what you expect to see if there's been a big crash. You know, it just seems that everybody's so negative. Titles like deep correction coming, totaling 40% in the next few years. Shades of 1987, big shock drop retest. Oh, this investing is hope over reality. Warning signs of a 25% plunge, right? Investors are totally in denial. Ditch the U.S. stock market. I love this, Rye. It's a donkey <laughs> pretending to be a racehorse. <laughs> wow. That's a heck of an analogy. Well, you don't expect to see this type of pessimism if we're at the end of a big booming bull market. You know, generally, bull markets die with euphoria, and there's absolutely nothing euphoric about those headlines. But I did see a, a bit of really good information. There was an article about annuities. And do you know who issues annuities, right? Insurance companies, Bob. And insurance companies are very good to themselves, not necessarily the investors in their annuities. Now, insurance companies, do they invest in the same stock and bond markets that you invest your clients' money in? Pretty much. There's no special investments they have that we don't have access to. So basically what this article was pointing out was that you turn your money over to an insurance company, they invest in the stock and bond market, which you could do on your own. And in return, what they do is they pay a little bit of return for the rest of your life. And then if you die and you don't get all your money back, too bad for you, the insurance company keeps it and your family doesn't get it. Somehow that doesn't seem like a good deal to me. But those brochures are so glossy, Bob, and the people look so happy on the cover. <laughs> <laughs> they do look happy because they're not paying any fees. Of course, in this article, it says you're, you're paying anywhere from 7 to 10% commission, which goes to the salesman who loved selling you that annuity. But they say, oh, no, that's not a fee. Uh, the insurance company pays me that. Well, how come when they try to take their money out in a case of an emergency, they can't get it without paying a 7 to 10% penalty? Somehow, penalty and commission are really the same thing. <laughs> Look at those annuities. If you own them, you need to review them because the insurance company is very happy that you own it. It might not be the best deal for you. Um, yeah, I think the best line in the whole article, Rye, was annuities are sold. They're not bought. Don't be one of the fools who gets sold. Oof. True. So true. So painfully true, Bob. So I know you read every financial publication cover to cover you had to come up with something interesting in the world of financial pornography this week. Funny you mentioned it, Bob. I did. <laughs> I came up with investors stage a near record exodus from U.S. stocks in February. So basically what we saw was U.S. stocks saw investors withdraw $41 billion in February, according to the market data out there from a firm called Trim Taps. But the reason this is significant is because that's when the market went down. The worst hmm. time to sell and at that point, you had everybody selling from their portfolio at the same time. Now, why it's even more additionally risky is because if odds are, if you look at your portfolio specifically, you probably have a lot of your money in large cap US stocks. And that's the problem. Whenever you have something in your portfolio that's done really, really well, that's where all the money is being plowed into. When people panic out, they're all going to do it at the same time from the same investment. And this is one of the reasons why you want to diversify your money. So true, Rod. When you look at markets, when you go to any market in the world, whether it's the mall and you're buying a sweater or you're going to the supermarket to buy a can of tuna fish, you know, if the can of tuna fish is on sale, you don't run home, gather up all your cans of tuna fish and try and sell it back to the supermarket because the price went down. You say, oh, wow, I can stock up on my favorite food. And you buy with impunity. It's incredible how different we behave when it comes to the financial markets. You know, people want to buy when the prices are high and they want to sell when the prices are low. And here's a good example. Big boom and bull market for the last nine years. First dip, $41 billion exits. Hits the exits as quick as someone yelled fire in a theater. Yeah. And conversely, it's probably the best time to buy, but you have to have your portfolio diversified to do that. Just another interesting tidbit too, over the same time period, 17, almost 18 billion, excuse me, went into global funds. And this is something you and I have been talking about for a long time, Bob, is the portfolio you had the last 10 years is not the portfolio you want the next 10 years. Because if we look at what happened over the last 10 years is interest rates were going down, we had low inflation, and also it was a US-centric market, right? The US markets outperformed everybody, but now the dynamics are changing. We're seeing money go 
into the global markets. The global markets are heating up. Their earnings are getting better. And we're also starting to see inflation. And you know the same portfolio you had is not going to work as well in this new environment. And that's why it's so critical that you readjust your portfolio for what the next 10 years are going to look like. Well, you know, people have a home bias when it comes to their portfolio, but we are in a synchronized global bull market. Uh, it's always good to have money in U.S. stocks, but the real opportunities where the valuations are lower, the dividend yields are higher, the growth rates are faster are non-U.S. stocks right now. And it's not always the case, but right now it is, and you want to take advantage of it. I'm glad to see, Ry, that some smart people are taking some money from the U.S. and putting it into non-U.S. stocks. Diversification, diversification, diversification. Repeat after me. <laughs> diversification, diversification, <laughs> diversification. I'm a good soldier, Bob. I'm a good yes, soldier. Yes, you are. Um, if you're thinking to yourself right now, I need to make sure I'm not with the herd. I have a properly diversified portfolio that's going to capture returns for the next five to 10 years. As I get close to retirement, as I'm in retirement, here's your shot to do it. We keep 10 slots open. If you're one of the next 10 callers and you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, Bob and I will run for you our total financial master plan, and we'll do that with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review where we look at everything, bring in all your financial statements, even bring in your wills, bring in your last year's tax return. We'll have our CPA partner review that tax return, and we'll have our estate planners look at your wills, make sure they see if they need to be updated. Then what we're going to do is we're going to build you your own personal portal. We're going to load in all your different accounts, and we're going to do a full bird's eye view of everything that you own and do a full x-ray. We're going to look at things like fees. Are you being overcharged on your investments? Do you have a lot of expensive annuities, mutual funds, products from brokerage firms where costs can be reduced? Bob and I are going to show you how to do that. We're going to look at income. Income is so critical in retirement. You need a reliable income stream. Bob and I are going to show you how to optimize income on your portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. What risks, what pitfalls do you have in your portfolio? Is your money concentrated in one area? Does it need to be spread out? We're going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio for retirement. And then finally, we're going to tie it all together. And we're going to determine that age-old question are you going to outlive your money or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies now, our family's worked on for over four decades to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. So give us a call or text 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200,000 for your personal retirement. Our team will run for you your own personal total financial master plan. There's no obligation, there's no cost. All you have to do is call or you can text 844-752-6692. This is no pain, no gain, Financial Radio. We told you earlier that Ryan Payne is the president of Payne Capital Management. This means he's the one responsible for designing the firm's investment and financial planning strategies. He has several years of experience helping clients innovate, evolve, and fine-tune their strategies. To reach out to Ryan and his team, call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you want to be healthy, you have to eat right, hit the gym, and vary your training. If you want to have good financial health, you need to save, invest, and strategize to get your desired outcome. Keep listening to No Pain, No Gain, and we'll keep you financially fit. This is No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I, our mission in life is to keep it simple and educate you. And that's why we put together our latest guides to the highlights of the new tax reform you can download it for free. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. Make sure you're up to speed on all the highlights of the new tax reform. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And if you want to learn more about myself and Bob, you can do that on the World Wide Web. And yes, Bob's hair looks just as good in real life. Simply go to bebullish.com. That's bebullish.com. And you can also subscribe to the No Pain, No Gain radio show. 
Also, you can check me out at 11 o'clock every Tuesday on Fox Business with Stuart Varney and friends, giving a quick market update every Tuesday at 11 o'clock. And if you ever have a question for myself or Bob, you can always email us, questions at bebullish.com. That's questions at bebullish.com. And if it's a really good question, Bob and I will answer your question right here directly on the show. And like every week, Bob, we got some pretty good questions. The first one comes in from Emily. She's in Radnor, Pennsylvania. She writes in, Bob, when should I start focusing less on growing my money and focus more on protecting it instead? I plan to retire in two years and market volatility makes me really nervous. Emily, you're supposed to be nervous. Right. Do you know who created volatility? The market gods, Bob. The market gods created volatility to keep the uninformed from achieving their goals. We need to help Emily here, Rye. What does she have to do to overcome being nervous every day about the financial media and the financial markets? Well, first off, we always say you got to work back from your, you go from point A to point B, you need to start with point B. You got to start with the end in mind. So we have to start to say, okay, Emily, what are your goals? We know you want to retire in two years. So right off the bat, we have a place to start. And then from there, there's there's a lot of other things, Bob, that uh, the planning process entails. It sure does. And it's just a matter of knowing you know, how much you have and how it's invested because you can use the past performance of your portfolio to give you an inkling of what they will be going forward. Now, there's no guarantee that history will completely repeat itself, but over longer periods of time, stocks tend to return 10, bonds tend to return four, cash returns basically zero. So you want to be certain that you have that right mix and it needs to be tweaked right? Because markets are volatile, Emily, and they go up and down and there's opportunities created. I was just talking about the opportunity that was created by having U.S. stocks at an all-time record valuation, able to pull some money out of there and buy non-U.S. stocks at a lower valuation. So it's about staying on track to your goals. Wouldn't you agree, Rye? Yeah. And I think the other thing is, look, you're two years from retirement. We talk about this a lot, but when you're in that, what we call retirement red zone, when you're five to 10 years out from retirement and you're in retirement, you need a different portfolio. You know, the old growth portfolio just doesn't cut it anymore. You need to start to look at what we call transforming from a wealth accumulation portfolio to a wealth distribution portfolio. And that means you want to start to build in the certainty so that market volatility becomes less and less of a concern to what you always say, Bob, you know, you want to bring that portfolio down to the sleep point. You're right, Rod, because you have the same four problems as every other investor. And that number one, I call it the four P's, that number one P is everyone. I mean, you and everyone have the same problem. You take more portfolio risk than necessary to achieve your goals. You can reduce that portfolio down to the sleeping point. And you know what? Why wouldn't you? Yes, exactly. Why not? Right? Why not? So right. So right. That was a great question from Emily. I'm reaching down in the mailbag here and I got a question from Leo in Great Neck, Long Island. He wants to know, right, is it wise to have a trust as part of my financial and estate plan? It seems that a lot of people I know have one. That's a question we actually get a lot because- and Leo, it sounds like you're in New York, you're in Long Island. You know, you may not necessarily need a trust. Now, we're not estate planners, and, and one part of our total financial master plan is if you bring in your legal documents, we actually have an estate planner that will review those for you to determine do you need a trust? You know, what updates do you need to your will? And I have to say, in a lot of times, trusts are very expensive to set up. And a lot of times you may not necessarily need it, depending on what your state you're in. You know, for example, if you're in New Jersey, it might not be as necessary to have a living trust. However, if you're moving to Florida, having some sort of trust may make a lot of sense. So I think the reality of it is it really depends on your situation. Just because your neighbors or your friends or your family have trusts doesn't mean that you need to. But I would say this, if you haven't done this already, you really need to tally up your estate plan. And what I mean by that is, and Bob, you know, you talk about this a lot too, is making sure that everything is titled properly. I mean, I can't tell you how many times a client will have an IRA and the beneficiary of that IRA is someone they don't like anymore. You know, someone who maybe have passed away. Maybe it's an ex-husband or ex-wife. So that stuff all needs to be looked at, I'd say, on a regular basis every few years. 
so many times people will have a trust run up and they forget to tell their custodian, their financial advisor, that they change title in their assets. So when the person passes, the trust are, are useless documents because the trust is still in the name of the individual oh, and hasn't been one. changed into the name of the trust. So it's, I can guarantee you one thing, Ry. If you go to an attorney right now with your trust, he or she's going to tell you, oh, yeah, this thing's out of date. I got to redo the whole thing. I don't know why he wouldn't just bring it to us and have it reviewed for free. You definitely want an unbiased opinion on that because a lot of estate planners are going to give you a different opinion about whether you need a trust or not. And I would say a lot of times you actually don't need that trust. But to your point, Bob, part of the whole financial planning process is getting that holistic review, getting everything in order, not just your investments not in order, not just your income plan in order, but you also want to know is everything set on it from a tax efficiency standpoint and are all your legal docs up to date. As uh, our, our good friend once said, render it unto Caesar that which is Caesar's, but don't give many of yours. And if you would like to have a full holistic review, if you're wondering, are my trust titled properly? Is my financial and estate plan in order? Am I worried about the market volatility? Am I taking too much risk or not enough? All you have to do is be one of the next 10 callers and have saved at least 200000 for retirement. Ryan and I will create for you your own personal total financial master plan. Now, there's no obligation. There's no cost. We're going to do a full holistic review and even give you access to our 360 financial portal so you can see in real time if you're tracking to your goals and to your dreams. We'll have our CPA partner review your tax return. We'll look over your estate plan and have our estate planning attorney tell you whether or not those documents need to be updated. Lastly, we're going to look at all of your investment statements. You don't have to itemize them. All you have to do is grab a shopping bag, put this month's statements in the bag, bring them in, We'll put it all together. We'll take it down and reduce it to our famous investment analysis spreadsheet, simple three-page document, which will itemize every part of your portfolio and will break down your portfolio into three key components to success, diversification, fees, and income. You know, you take more risks than necessary to achieve your goals. Let's make sure you're properly diversified based on your goals, based on your dreams. Why be overcharged when you can have your fees reduced? There's so many hidden charges very deep into that prospectus, that mutual fund, or into that big fat annuity contract. And lastly, we all need income in retirement. We want to have a more dependable income stream because income is much more dependable than capital gains year by year. We want to be able to chart your progress towards your goals and create for you your own total financial master plan, utilizing strategies that we've been perfecting now for over four decades. We want to help, like we've helped many families, take your family from your financial point A to your point B goals with the least amount of risk and as much certainty as we can provide. So don't waste time. We have a few slots left. Call or text us now at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. Get a real holistic review of everything at 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, a couple slots left, over $200,000 saved for retirement, call or text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692. This is no pain. No Game Financial Radio. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. This is Ryan Payne, Bob Payne, No Pain, No Gain Financial Radio. And Bob and I, our mission in life is to educate you. That's why we put together our latest guide on the highlights of the new tax reform which you can download for free. You simply just have to text the word bullish, that's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H, to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. Get all the highlights of the new tax reform. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. And now it's time for my favorite segment of the show, 
It's our spotlight segment where we dissect a real financial plan each week and we uncover what we call the flaws or pain points. That's P-A-Y-N-E for the record. So you can avoid some of the same mistakes with your own planning and investing. And we have a very special guest this morning. It's going to be an all pain, no pain, no gain show. My brother, Bob's son, Chris Payne, financial advisor at Payne Capital. Good morning, Chris. Thanks for being on the show with us, brother. Good morning, Ryan and Dad. How are you guys? Hey, everybody's doing great. Chris, it's great to have you on. We got the, the House of Pain here this week on No Pain, No Gain Radio. I can think of nothing better, Dad. <laughs> Rumor has it Chris is in uh, sunny Florida with Bob Payne. I'll tell you what, it's good to be the other brother. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, right? Yeah. Between having the choice of staying and hanging out in the cold weather, I figured yeah. my time is better spent in sunny South Florida with Dad. Rumor has it Chris is doing the show today from the jacuzzi and the lanai, so uh, must be nice, Chris. Well, you know, just to take the proper safety precautions, I did cover my laptop in plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Always thinking ahead. I'm impressed. Always thinking about risk management. So, Chris, you worked on a case this past week. Why don't you talk about this couple and what they're doing with their retirement planning and, and how you help them out and you know some of the things they, they needed to adjust? Yeah, sure, right. So, this is a couple, actually a referral from some of my clients down in uh, beautiful Florida. And this is a very interesting case, mainly for the fact that about 70% of their money right now is in cash. And 70% is a big number, but even more important than that, that 70% represents about $2.5 million. Now, I don't know about you guys, but that's a lot of money. And as Bob and says, cash is trash. So well, you know, you're nothing on cash, so it's not a great place for your money to be for growth. Well, you actually do earn something on cash, Rye. It's a, but net of inflation, it's a negative return. So it's a guaranteed way to go backwards. Chris, so just curious, why do they have so much cash? Do they get hit in the last bear market and just said, I can't get back in or what's the deal? Yeah, this couple came in. They said, you know, we've really wanted to get together with a financial planner. It's just something that we've continued to put off, which I think is really something that we see often. But the biggest thing was they were really scared about what happened in 2008 you know, they didn't want to put all this money to work, especially now from their perception, thinking that the market's really high and have another situation like 2008 where they could potentially lose 40 percent of what they've saved. You know, Chris, I've, I've said this my whole career. You know, you should invest in the market you have, not in the market you want. And I don't think this is too uncommon. There, there are a lot of people who make a big decision out of fear and they say, well, I'm going to get fully invested. I'm going to get back on track when the bell rings or when you know somebody gets on the nightly news and tells me. But that doesn't happen and time passes. And that's the whole purpose of having an advisor because we realize that time passes and markets operate even though you don't want them to operate, right? That, so you don't have the market you want. So you have to always invest in the market you have. And that's why when you have a fiduciary who works in your best interest like you do, you tell people to get over their inertia and start putting things to work. For example, just taking baby steps. It doesn't have to be all or none. And I think that's the problem with you sitting there who have a lot of cash. I think it has to be all or none. You know, take baby steps, get a little bit of time, find out that it is safe to get back into the pool. Next thing you know, you're on track back to your goals. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Dad. You know, the other thing too is, and this is a phrase that I'm really fond of, is that tomorrow never comes. You know, we say we're going to so put something true. off till tomorrow. That never happens. Sorry tomorrow, to I'm going to see grandchildren. Is that what you guys are telling me? <laughs> patience, Bob. Patience. <laughs> <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, Chris, I'm, I'm I'm looking over this case, and and this couple did a phenomenal job of saving. They don't really need to take a lot of risk to achieve their financial goals. So what were the next steps? Yeah, I agree with you 100%. They really don't need to take a lot of risk. And, you know, the big thing was when I showed them just from an income standpoint, you know, what they could gain just in that aspect. I mean, that's an mm -hmm. increase of almost 100000 a year that's just crazy. from the interest in dividends. $100,000 a year? I could use that. Wow. <laughs> So, Ry, what do you think that was compounded over 20 years? Just earning income $100,000 a year and reinvesting it back over your portfolio. I'm going to guess it's another million bucks. Closer to $2.3 million if they compound wow. that money over the next 20 years. Just income. Yeah, just nothing to do with the market going up or down. Just generating current consistent income that they can either live on or reinvest back over their portfolio. And I think that's what we forget. The real magic to investing is that compounding effect. It's not really the market going up or down. And this is a perfect case in point, Chris, where 
They don't really need to have a lot of money in the markets. They can have money in a high quality institutionally managed bond portfolio where they're generating a lot of that current income um, where they don't need to take a lot of risk like they were back in 2008. Exactly. And you know, when we sat down and actually ran through their financial plan and really sat down and discussed specific goals, like they want to be retired in the next 10 years, you know, continuing to save what they're saving today, as long as they're invested and making money on their money, they're going to be in great shape. The balanced portfolio has returned, you know, close to six, 7% a year over the last 20 years, even with two of the biggest drops in your financial life. But the average investors like this couple who has way more money in cash than necessary and doesn't need to take all that much more risk in terms of observing volatility to achieve a lifetime of income they can't outlive. Yeah, exactly right. Well, Chris, another financial masterpiece, as Bob would say. Great job on this case. Great job getting this couple on track for retirement. Um, and if you're thinking to yourself, I need a plan. I have too much money in cash. I'm relying on market volatility to get my return, not a consistent, reliable stream of income that's tied into my goals. Here's your shot to do it. We still have a couple slots left. If you have over $200,000 saved for retirement, myself, Chris and Bob, the pain boys, will run for you our total financial master plan and we'll do this with no obligation or cost. It's a full holistic review just like this. If you bring in all your statements, we're literally going to build you your own personalized portal, one login where we can look at everything in a holistic view and we're going to do a full portfolio x-ray of all your investments. That means we're going to look at income we're going to increase this couple's income by $100,000 a year in current consistent income. Can we help you optimize the income on your portfolio? We're going to look at fees. There's a lot of underlying costs on your portfolio you don't know you're paying. We're going to break down all the hidden costs in those annuities, mutual funds, brokerage products, and help you reduce costs on your portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. Do you have too much money concentrated in one area? Are you sitting on way too much cash that's earning nothing? Bob and I and Chris are going to show you how to bulletproof your portfolio, make sure it's diversified and retirement ready. Then we're going to tie it all together into one total financial master plan, and we will determine the age-old question. Are you going to outlive your money? Or more importantly, is your money going to outlive you? Utilizing strategies our family has worked on for over 40 years to take your family from point A to point B with the least amount of risk and the highest odds of success. Don't miss out. We have a few slots left. Text us or call 844-752-6692. If you're one of the next few callers, you've saved over 200000 for your retirement. Our team will run for you your own personal Total financial master plan. There's no obligation. There's no cost. There's no strings attached. You got to text or call 844-752-6692. All right. Well, great show. And Bob, if you listen really closely, I think Chris turned on the jets and the jacuzzi. I can hear the bubbles. <laughs> Chris, I thought we were going to go to the beach today. I think we'll have to do that after the show, Dad. All right. We'll text Rice some pictures from the beach. Jacuzzi, beach. Man, oh man. I'm the only pain that works. <laughs> Life's about choices, be. son. We'll have a great weekend, and as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.